Good morning. Welcome to Christ the Ark Church. Stay tuned and enjoy the service with us. For God so loved the world Come on. That he gave his only son And whosoever believes will not perish They shall have eternal life We believe in God I shall hold to the cross I shall hold to God alone For His love has salvaged me For His love has set me free For God For God so loved the world and that he gave his only son and whosoever believes will not perish they shall have eternal life hallelujah hallelujah I shall wait
created. Yes. You can do everything. Yes. Okay? I woke up yesterday in the first this strength in me. Amen. And I went and rented case. Hallelujah. welcome you this morning to another life-changing word experience here at Christ the Ark Church. Before we start, I would love for us to start with a word of prayer. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 2, verse number 21, and it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Whoever calls on the name of Jesus will be saved. Whoever confesses that Jesus is Lord will be saved. The word whoever, it means anyone. It does not matter your age. It does not matter the color of your skin. It does not matter your qualification. It does not matter what you have in your bank account, but whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. I do not know what you are coming across today, but I want you to call on the name of the Lord and you will be saved. I do not know what you are facing, but I want you to call on the name of the Lord and you will be saved. You will be saved when you call on this one name, the name of Jesus. Let us go in prayer and say, Lord, I call on your name and I will be saved. Let's pray. Heavenly loving Father, we come to you once more this morning because on our own we cannot do anything. Father, we give you all the glory. And Father, it has come to pass that whoever calls on the name of Jesus will be saved. It does not matter the challenges, it does not matter the troubles that we might be facing today, but whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Father, I am praying that whoever that is calling on the name of Jesus now, Father, will be saved. Father, it does not matter their age. It does not matter the color of their skin. It does not matter their qualification. It does not matter their business. It does not matter their, their, their bank account balance. It does not matter. But as long as they call on the name of Jesus, you said they will be saved. I believe now that as we call on the name of Jesus, salvation is taking place because that is the only name that saves and there is no any other name that can be compared to the name of Jesus. Father, we are praying that at the mention of the name of Jesus, there will be salvation. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you for answered prayers. Amen. So family, I just want to remind you our vision, mission, and our values. The vision of Christ the Ark Church is rehabilitation, restoring lives back into their useful place in Christ. And our mission is to live in purpose, impact society, validate gifts through the word and evangelize mankind back to God. So family, I also want to say happy Easter to everyone who has joined us this morning and we really appreciate it. So family, our theme for the year says catch the wind of the Holy Spirit. What was happening? The Apostle Paul went to Ephesus in the book of Acts chapter 19 verse number 6. When he went to Ephesus, he found 12 believers 
These are not the 12 apostles of Jesus Christ. No, it is believers who were assumed to be followers of Jesus Christ. When he got there, he asked them, when you believed, did you receive the Holy Spirit? They said, no, we did not receive the Holy Spirit because we did not know that there is a Holy Spirit. So family, people cannot do anything with what they do not know. They cannot have what they do not know that they have. So Apostle Paul saw an opportunity because he chose to go for God. When he went for God, he was able to determine that there are people with needs. It is only until we go to Ephesus that we will realize that people have needs. Then the Apostle Paul explained to them because he realized that the teaching that they had from their teachers was only the teaching about the baptism of John, the baptism of repentance. But after Paul explained to them, then they were baptized in the name of Jesus. It means he explained to them that they need to be baptized in the name of Jesus in order to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, in order to catch the wind of the Holy Spirit. The only way we can catch the wind of the Holy Spirit, it is when we believe in the name of of Jesus and were baptized in the name of Jesus. After Paul explained to them, he laid his hands on them and the Holy Spirit came upon them. They began to speak in strange tongues and they were able to proclaim God's message. They were able to do what they could not do before. The message about Jesus was then spread in Ephesus because they were able to catch the wind of the Holy Spirit. We can be able to tell people about Jesus when we, we, we were able to catch the wind of the Holy Spirit. Once we catch the wind of the Holy Spirit, we will be able to tell people about Jesus. Family, Ephesus was dry and out because they, did not, they had not caught the wind of the Holy Spirit, but only after they were able to catch the wind of the Holy Spirit. Ephesus was nourished with the signs and wonders, was nourished with the message about Jesus. So family, last week we have been ministering under a topic that says empowered to witness. We are empowered to witness. So we will realize that empowerment it has nothing to do with the one who is empowered, but it has everything to do with the one that empowers. Why? Because Jesus said in the book of John, he said, but when the helper, the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth, who proceeds from God, when he comes, he will tell you about me and you will also be able to tell everyone about me. The Holy Spirit will tell us about Jesus and we will be able to tell others about Jesus. So the helper is coming to help us to be able to tell others about Jesus. Without the Holy Spirit, Family, we cannot experience Jesus, but with the Holy Spirit, when we, we will be able to know who Jesus is. The Holy Spirit reveals who Jesus is. When he reveals who Jesus is, we will be able to tell others about Jesus. The Holy Spirit preaches to us who Jesus is. We will be able to preach to others about who Jesus is. The Holy Spirit prophesies in our lives about who Jesus is. We will also be able to prophesy into others' lives who Jesus is. The Holy Spirit will speak about Jesus and we will also speak about Jesus. The Holy Spirit will witness to us about Jesus. Then we will also be able to witness to others about Jesus. The Holy Spirit will testify to us about Jesus and we will also be able to testify about Jesus. So you realize that the Holy Spirit empowers us to witness. So empowerment is nothing to do with the one who is empowered, 
but the one who empowers. Because it is Jesus who is empowering us through the Holy Spirit. And then the Holy Spirit empowers us, then we are able to tell everyone about Jesus. So the Holy Jesus gives us the ability through the Holy Spirit, then we are able to tell others about Jesus. So empowerment is not about the empowered, but it is about the one who empowers. So family, I want you to always have this at the back of your mind, that we are empowered so that we can make it a business about the one who has empowered us. The Holy Spirit tells us about Jesus because it is all about Jesus. It is nothing about us, but it is all about Jesus. We are empowered so that we can tell others about Jesus. So family, the Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse number 8, but when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will have power and you will be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, in all of Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. You see, Jesus is saying, when the Holy Spirit that I'm promising comes upon you, then you will be witnesses for Jesus. You will be able to testify about Jesus. You will be able to tell others about Jesus. You will be able to prophesy about Jesus. We will be able to testify, family, about Jesus when the Holy Spirit comes upon us. The Holy Spirit does not come upon us so that we can look good or be glamorous that the holy spirit comes upon us because there is work to be done what is the work to be done the work to be done family it is to tell others about jesus the holy spirit is the spirit of truth he tells us the truth about jesus we'll be able to tell others the truth the holy spirit tells us the word and we'll be able to tell others about the word now family you need to know that truth comes before trust. So trust comes after truth. So family, we need to stick to the truth so that the work that we are doing can be trusted. So where does where is the foundation of the truth? The foundation of the truth is Jesus. So the Holy Spirit will tell us about Jesus, who is the truth, who is the way, so that we can be able to tell others about Jesus, who is the truth, who is the word. Then Jesus said one day when he was with his disciples, I'm going to the Father and I'll come back and get you. Then Thomas, because Thomas had a problem with believing, he always believed what he saw. He wanted to see first before he can believe. Then Jesus said, I am the way and I am the life and I am the truth. So now why? Because Thomas said, how can we know where you are going when we do not know the way? Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. So the Holy Spirit comes upon us and we have power to tell others about the way, the truth, and the life. Who is this? It is Jesus. So the Holy Spirit comes upon our lives so that we can tell others about Jesus. Why? Because it is all about Jesus. So family, let us make it all about Jesus. Every opportunity we get, let it never be about us, but it must be about Jesus. So family, today we are continuing with the same series, Empowered to Witness. We receive power to witness. So we are speaking about Empowered to Witness, part number two. So family, I want to also remind you that today is Easter. Easter marks a significant day in our Christian faith. The event that took place more than 2,000 years ago, 2,020 years ago, that event is what we are commemorating today. It is the day of crucifixion. It is the day that Jesus was crucified. It is Passover. 
So our family, today marks a significant day in our Christian faith and it cannot just go by without notice because it is one of the most powerful days in the history of mankind. This is the day that exposed the worst mistake that the enemy could have ever made. But unfortunately, it is irreversible. When he thought he was finishing off with Jesus, he was actually <laughs> fast-tracking the beginning. He was actually making it possible for the fulfillment of the prophecy. <laughs> so family today marks a significant day. Today it is the day about Jesus, what Jesus has done for me and you, what Jesus has done to take away the sins of the world. Why? So that the world can move from death to life, from sickness to health, from poverty to wealth, from darkness to light. Family, this is the day that marks a day where Jesus defeated the devil. So family, this day cannot go unnoticed because it is one of the significant days in our Christian faith. So family, our topic says empowered to witness part number two. We will get our passage of scripture from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2. We will read verse number 2 only in the Good News translation. My Bible says, For while I was with you, I made up my mind to forget everything except Jesus Christ and especially his death on the cross. So the Apostle Paul says when he is in Corinth, this was his, his, his message during his second visit to Corinth. He says, when I, I, while I was with you, I made up my mind to forget everything except Jesus Christ and especially his death on the cross. So the Apostle Paul made up his mind to forget what? Everything except for this one thing, Jesus Christ, and especially his death on the cross. So family, it is a personal choice to make up our mind to focus on something and leave everything else. The Apostle Paul says, I chose to focus on Jesus Christ and nothing else more especially his death on the cross, what the cross has done for us. He says he made up his mind, family, he decided to, he decided on Jesus. And he decided to forget everything else, but focus on Jesus. Paul determined, Paul made it firm, he made it fixed. Paul was unmovable in his decision to forget about everything else except for Jesus and his death on the cross. So family, we need to make up our mind to forget about everything except for this one thing, Jesus and his death on the cross. Paul made up his mind to forget about everything except for Jesus Christ and his death on the cross. This one thing, Jesus, I choose family to forget about everything except for Jesus Christ and his death on the cross. Paul resolved family. Paul made an absolute decision that nothing can convince him otherwise except Jesus Christ and his death on the cross. We need to be resolved, family. We need to make an absolute decision that it is all about Jesus and nothing else. He chose to forget. Family, family if, if, if there is anything else that the Apostle Paul could have chosen, family, the Apostle Paul put everything aside and said, I am choosing this one thing, Jesus and I'm leaving out everything else. I am choosing this one thing, Jesus, and I'm leaving out everything. Paul chose when there are other options. He chose Jesus Christ when there are other options. 
Paul chose to stick with the message about Jesus Christ when there are other things that he could speak about when he went to Corinth. I don't know when you get to Corinth, what do you choose? Corinth family, it is a place that needed the message about Jesus. Corinth is a place that needed to hear someone speak about Jesus and his death on the cross. Whichever opportunity that you get to represent God, no, it is an opportunity to speak about Jesus Christ and, uh, and his death on the cross. Paul chose. We need to make a conscious decision to choose the right thing. Paul chose to forget about everything. Maybe his mind was saying, what about the people that you have left in Rome? What about people that, 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 that were saved during your ministry? Paul chose to forget about everything. What about the house? What about the bank account? What about the career? What about property? What about the car? What about everything else? Paul chose to forget about everything and accept for this one thing, Jesus. Paul realized along his walk with Christ. Paul realized that this one thing is more than everything else. That's why he, he chose, he made up his mind to forget about everything except Jesus Christ and his death on the cross. So, all Jesus family can replace everything else. That's what the Apostle Paul did. He made Jesus to, 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 to be above everything else, to be superior about him, to be priority number one. Family, Jesus must be priority number one. That's why we must make up our mind to forget about everything and focus on Jesus. I did not choose all these other things, but I chose Jesus Christ. I did this one thing. This is one good thing that I had to make. Because there are other things that were appealing, but Paul says, I made up my mind to forget everything except for this one thing, Jesus <laughs> and his death on the cross. Paul is saying, I was brought up as a Jew and I learned about the law of Moses and the prophets. I was a Pharisee of the Pharisees. But I did not choose philosophy or theology. I did not choose man-made stories or, 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 or any other opinion from humans. But I chose Christ. He was brought up. He had the education. He was the Pharisee of the Pharisees. Brought up as a Jew. He learned the law. He learned the prophets. He learned philosophy, he went to theological seminaries, but he chose not to balance things. <laughs> no, he chose not to make his words appealing to people by selling himself, by making a name for himself. No, not even any of the other apostles did he speak about, but he spoke about Jesus. He made it his personal decision that if there is any other thing that I could do, I will choose to do Jesus. If there is any other thing I could say, I will choose to speak about Jesus. It is a personal choice for many to make up our mind to forget everything. That is what Paul was saying. He forgot everything except for this one thing, Jesus. And his death on the cross. I did not consider man-made stories or opinions, but I chose Jesus. I chose Jesus who is. I chose Jesus who was. I chose Jesus who is to come. I chose Jesus who is the Almighty. I chose Jesus who is the Most High. I did not consider any man-made theories, but I chose Jesus. I chose Jesus above anything else that I could 
has been offered. I chose Jesus. I chose who Jesus is. And I chose what Jesus has done. I chose Jesus Christ. I made up my mind to forget everything except for Jesus and his death on the cross. I chose Jesus, who Jesus is. I chose Jesus, what Jesus has done. Jesus Christ and his death on the cross. I chose who Jesus is. Jesus Christ, Jesus the anointed one, Jesus God sent, Jesus the Messiah and his death on the cross. The price that he had to pay for the penalty of our sins. That's what I have chosen. I chose Jesus and his redemption. I chose Jesus and God's mystery to defeat the enemy. I chose Jesus and God's way to go and retrieve the authority that Adam has given over on the silver platter. I chose Jesus who defeated Satan. I chose Jesus and his, what he nailed on the cross, the requirements of the law. I chose Jesus and salvation. I chose Jesus and freedom. I chose Jesus and liberty. I made up my mind. This requires someone to make up their mind. I do not know as we are ministering today what you are going to make up your mind for. But I have made up my mind to choose Jesus. To forget everything else except Jesus Christ and his death on the cross. The Apostle Paul is saying, I was consumed by one topic. <laughs> the message about Jesus and his death on the cross. I was consumed by one topic. I was eaten up. I was swallowed by this one topic. Jesus Christ and his death on the cross. I do not know what consumes you. If maybe you have been consumed by something wrong, I want you to change it today. Be consumed by the right thing. Jesus Christ and his death on the cross. The message about Jesus' family gives effect to the power of the cross. Family, the message about Jesus changes everything. The message about Jesus, family heals. It brings light. The message about Jesus, it makes the deaf hear, the lame walk, the blind see. The message of Jesus saves. There is not any other message that saves except the message of Jesus. Everywhere where there was salvation, the message, there was consistency about the message of Jesus Christ. Everywhere where souls were won to be, go back into a relationship with God, there is a consistency about the message of Jesus Christ. Family going to preach for, for, to win souls, the message of Jesus Christ is a consistent message. The Holy Spirit comes to tell us about Jesus so that we can tell others about Jesus. Because the name of Jesus is the only name that saves and there is no any other name. It is the only name that saves. Others can be called Jesus somewhere in South America or Latin American countries. They can be called Jesus, but their names, they only mean that Jesus saves. <laughs> But this name, Jesus, it is the name that saves. This is the only one that saves. Others mean salvation, but they don't save. This one is the only one that saves. The name of Jesus, the Christ, the anointed one, is the chosen one to save all men. The only chosen name to bring back men into a relationship with God. This is the only name that saves. The name of Jesus. Paul family did not make a message about himself or any other person that he has ever come across, but he chose to forget about everything except Jesus and his death on the cross. Paul indicates that he is about making a name for Jesus, as the Holy Spirit is here to make a name for Jesus. The Holy Spirit glorifies Jesus. We must also glorify Jesus. He decided that the only subject of his teaching, it will be Jesus. It is that simple and simple. He chose that the message of his teaching and his preaching is Jesus. It is that simple and it is that plain. Paul chose to keep it plain and simple. 
not complicate salvation. No, salvation, it's about the name of Jesus, not anything else. Paul chose, made up his mind to forget everything except the name of Jesus in his teaching and his preaching. Paul made up his mind. We need to make up our mind to make it about Jesus and nothing else. Paul made up his mind to forget everything else except for this one thing, the name of Jesus. Paul indicates that he's making a name for Jesus and no one else. Paul made up his mind to forget everything else except this one thing, Jesus. Paul was filled with the Holy Spirit. He told everyone about Jesus because the Holy Spirit tells him about Jesus. Jesus is the only way to the Father and there is no any other way. Family, if we were to make this illustration, let's make it actually. We are going to speak about a bridge. A bridge, family, it is a medium that can take us to the other side. So now, if you are on this side and you need to get to the other side, you need to cross over the bridge. So Jesus is that bridge. We are on this side where we do not know the Father. Then we have to cross over the bridge, which is Jesus, to get to the Father on the other side. Can we make this confession? To get to the other side, I need to cross through the bridge. Who is Jesus? So Jesus is the bridge that helps us to get to the Father. There is no any other way. Well, that's why Paul made up his mind to forget about everything else because everything else, family, will not take us to the Father. We must make up our mind, focus on what will help others. It's Jesus, the bridge that can help us get to the Father. If we want to live forever in a relationship with the Father, we need to get on Jesus, who is the bridge. Now, how can others get on Jesus? When we preach Jesus, when we choose to forget about everything else except Jesus and his death on the cross, then others will know that this is the way to the Father, who is Jesus. Family, when we go for God, we must have made up our mind to forget about everything except for Jesus and his death on the cross. What is on your mind? Is it Jesus or is it something else? It's either we choose, family, to make up our mind on everything else except for Jesus. Or we make up our mind to focus on Jesus and leave everything else. So what we have made up our mind on family will be determined by what we say. Because Paul made up his mind to teach and preach about Jesus and his death on the cross. So what we say, what we do, family, is based on what we have made up our mind on. What are you resolved for? What have you decided on? What are you determined for? Paul made up his mind. He was resolved. He was determined. He had chosen. He has decided to forget everything except for Jesus and his death on the cross. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse number 18, For the message of the cross is foolishness for those who are perishing. But to us who have been saved, it is the power of God. The message of the cross... There is no message of the cross without Jesus. <laughs> the message of the cross is about Jesus. The message of the cross is about Jesus. The message about Jesus family is considered weak <laughs> in this technologically advancing era. <laughs> but the message about Jesus, it is still the only way to life. It does not matter how much technology will evolve. The message about Jesus remains the only message that saves lives. The message about Jesus is not affected by technological advances. It remains the same. The message about Jesus and his death on the cross is not changed because of technological changes. No, it remains intact. 
That's why we must make up our mind to stick to this message. Technology will fail, <laughs> but the name of Jesus will remain standing. Technology will fail, but the name of Jesus will remain standing. Speak the message of the cross, family. It is the message about Jesus. It is the only message that is consistent towards salvation of souls. So there is no cross without Jesus. The cross, family, looked like the place of death, but the cross, family, it is now the place where life begins. The cross looked like it is the end of life, but family, the cross is where life begins. Jesus says it is finished, said it is finished at the cross. When he was crucified more than 2020 years ago, he said it is finished. What did he, what did he mean? He mean he meant that I have paid the price. Now even those who could not access eternal life they can now access eternal life. It is finished. All that we need to use to access eternal life, it is to produce the name of Jesus. Then you will be saved. If you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. They thought they were stopping Jesus from fulfilling his purpose but unfortunately, that is when he was accomplishing his purpose. Hallelujah. So family, we need to make up our mind to forget about everything except for Jesus and his death on the cross because that is what saves. We are empowered to forget about everything except Jesus and his death on the cross. Others will be saved when we offer them Jesus. We need the Holy Spirit in order to proclaim God's message. So family, after all that we have said today, with this said at the back of our minds, family, I want us to focus on the cross of Jesus. The Bible says Paul made up his mind to forget everything except Jesus and his death on the cross. Today, maybe you are here and you have not given your life to Jesus. I want you to make up your mind to forget about everything except Jesus and his death on the cross. It happened for your salvation. It happened to give you life. It happened to redeem you. Now, if you need the Holy Spirit to tell you about Jesus, to be able to tell others about Jesus, you must first believe, because Jesus said on the last day of the feast, if anyone thirst, let him come to me and I will give him a drink, and out of his heart will flow the rivers of living water. He was speaking about the Holy Spirit, who will be given to those who believe. But the Holy Spirit was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified. Jesus' family was eventually glorified on the third day, this coming Sunday, we will be ministering on resurrection, it is the third day day where Jesus was resurrected by the power of God who is the Holy Spirit. Now this same Holy Spirit wants to come and minister in your life. He wants to raise you from death to life. If that is you and you would love to give your life to Jesus today, let us say this prayer. Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I make you Lord and Savior of my life. I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that you are Lord. Father, Wash me with your precious blood. Make me spotless clean. Fill me with the Holy Spirit to live to fulfill my God-given assignment. Having made up my mind to forget everything except Jesus and his death on the cross. From today I believe I am born again. I am a child of God. Everything has passed away. Everything has become new. I am a new creation. In Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you for answered prayers. Amen. Hallelujah. Family, this marks the end of our service. If you have given your life to Jesus, I want you to know you have made a decision that you will never, ever regret. So family, we want to invite you to join us this Sunday at our venue at 9.30 until 11.30 for our Sunday service. We really want to thank you for having made it to join our special Easter uh, online service. 
So family, I hope you have had a life-changing word experience. So we love you. And uh, if you would love to give towards Christ the Ark Church, please see the next slide. Thank you so much. And God bless you. We love you. And we will see you again on Sunday. Thank you. And God bless you. Amen. For God so loved the world Come on. That he gave his only son And whosoever believes will not perish They shall have eternal life We believe in God I shall hold to the cross. I shall hold to God alone. For His love has salvaged me. For His love has saved.